so before we apply materials to our building so let's create a ground and a fence surrounding our building so let's go back to the ground level click on it go to your architecture menu bar click on floor click on right angle draw your gun click on go drawing your tool as you can see there's a highlighted floor overlap so let's go back to our 3d view click on it and click on the floor you've created and go to your properties change the height offset to my nose 200 which is the thickness of the floor the first floor so minus 200 when you are to click on apply and you have this so let's do our fence to surround our building so go back to your gun level go to architecture menu bar click on wall let's do the fence and this way so when you are to click on escape and let's go back to our 3d view so as you can see our wall they are above our building so hold your control and click on the walls so after clicking on the wall let's go back to our properties change the top constraint to to your roof which is 3600 and also change the base constraint to minus 200 millimeter and we have to click on apply so you have your gun and your fence surrounding your building so the first thing for us to do in order for us to apply material to our building is to create the material first well, let's change this to realistic so let's go back let's go to manage click on materials so let's create new material click on this create new material let's rename it i'm going to start with the with the work so we name it wall click on this so go to appearance let's replace this asset i'm going to be using the the white color for my wall so type in wall on your keyboard type in white on your keyboard and you have this so click on this to replace the assets so after clicking on that click on apply so i'll be i'll be repeating the same process for my first floor and my second floor so create new material we name it floor floor one go to appearance interchange i'll be using the mosaic floor so we have this interchange let's create click on apply so create another one click on this we name it floor two go to your appearance let's replace it let's replace you to it let's see floor you have the tarazo let's replace it with tarazo so click on apply so we've already created a material for our concrete fascia our roof ridge and our spanish that all we need to do is to replace them so let's type in go to your search type in spanish spanish tie click on this go to appearance click on this to replace so i'm going to be using the gray color the gray color for my spanish tie so type in gray i'll be using the wall paints so i'll use this gray click on this to interchange so after doing that click on apply so let's replace our, our material set for our for our roof ridge so type in roof ridge okay it's not here let's use the ridge so okay circular ridge Okay, this is it so click on it let's replace the assets i'm going to be using the gray color also so we have this click on apply so the next one is is the concrete fascia so this is your concrete fascia click on it go to appearance click on this to replace 
so i'm going to be using the white also for my concrete fascia so type in white let's use the cool white for our concrete fascia so when you are done click on apply and click on ok as you can see our roof uh, our roof tie our spanish tie and our roof ridge they are now gray and our concrete fascia is white so let's apply our material to our wall so click on any part of the wall double click go to your edit type go to edit go to structure click on by category and let's apply this so click on wall and click on ok and click on ok click on apply to apply the material and when you are done click on ok as you can see i've applied the material to my wall so the next thing to do is to apply is to apply material to my to my wood so double click on the wood so after double cl clicking on the wood let's go back to our graphic display option changes to realistic so let's go to manage go to materials let's create a new material for it create so let's rename this wood and let's replace the material so go to appearance click on replace and let's type in green so you have this click on green click on apply and click on ok so go to your modify click on your paint or you, or you can either click on paint icon or type in pt on your keyboard to activate the to activate it so type in this let's apply the material this way this way so when you have to click on done and let's load it back into our project so override the existing version so click on it so after doing that so we've successfully apply material to our wall to our roof tie our concrete fascia and our spanish tie so let's apply material to our column and our flat roof so go to your modify click on paint icon let's click on paint icon so let me use white for this white let's do the same here i'm going to be using white for my for my concrete also so you have this So let's do the next one. So after painting our column, the next thing to do is to apply material to our, our floor, the first one and the second one. So go to this, search for floor. You have your floor one, click on this. So let's apply material to this. And for the second floor, apply material to this. So let's create another material for the side of our first floor. So let's go back to our manager to manage sorry manage click on materials click on create create new materials and let's rename it as stone i'm going to be using stone material so go to appearance replace it let's type in stone 
let's wait for its stone let's go to stone so click on this to interchange click on apply click on ok so let's go back to our modify click on paints and let's search for search for stone use it click on it and let's apply doing this around so I'll pause the video to to paint my the side of my floor so that is how to apply my terrain in Revit so the next thing I'm going to do is to render in Revit so let's go back to our ground floor go to your 3d don't click on the default 3d view click on this icon click on camera and let's take a 3d view of our building so this way this way so let's adjust the view of this let's make it smaller increase it so let's change it So we have this let's increase this up so after doing that increase it so we have this so after doing this click on the click on it so let's go to render icon show render dialog so click on it go to render the quality you have the drops you have the medium you have the high you have the best depending on your value so this best definitely is going to take a lot of time so let's change about the scheme do you want it sun and SUR I prefer using sun so sun setting let's go to sun setting the direction of the sun let it be from the top right from move and let's click on apply and ok so definitely I'm going to be using the medium it's going to take a lot of time I'm going to pause it and after render I'm going to show you guys the output so click on render but before you do that let's change the size to be very cloudy so click on render taking a lot of time so let me pause this tutorial to, to maximize time so this is it it has started so let me pause this tutorial to maximize time when you still I'm going to show you guys the output so guys this is how to render in Revit always feel free to change or alter any settings in this rendering dialog to get the best output of your choice lastly let me show you guys how to render in Viri so let's go to Viri my Viri is already on so you have your Viri menu bar you have the current view the render production and the rest so go to a current view change it to 3d v1 and let's go to our settings change this to pockets go to global illumination click on this go to your channel click on this make sure if your system is having gpu make sure this is ticked and if it's not having gpu on ticket and let's go to present make sure it's mailed and after doing that click on this so let's change our vray lights from sun to doom light so click on doom light click on this hdr image it's loading so let's replace this HDR with my own so let me go back to my desktop of my HDR use it to open so it's somehow dark so let me increase the intensity to 70 so always try to play with the intensity the solid color and the rest 
to get the best so after doing that let me change this from drop to high so after changing that click on render production to start your rendering it's going to take a lot of time so let me pause the tutorial as you can see the render has started so let me maximize it so you have your but as you can see the HDR is somehow dark so click on this go to your show correction control click on click on this click on this and click on this so click on click on your exposure so let's change our exposure to 7 so always try to play with the settings so you have this you have the bone let's reduce it the contrast let's see how it works so of this let's go to a white balance do you want the temperature warm like this so after doing that let's leave it for the final rendering so i'll pause this tutorial when the output is true when the render is true i will show you guys the final output so guys this is the final output in VA rendering and this is how to render a view in VA rendering.